Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you all how to make a cheese stuffed hamburger. Now another name for it, some people call it the Juicy Lucy, but I'm going to call it cheese stuffed hamburger today. Now what you need is two hamburger patties and make sure you pat them out thin. And as you can see I've patted them out very 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 thin, okay? And you want to make sure they're the same size. You'll go, you're going to need garlic powder, pepper, salt, sazon packet for seasoning, and you'll need two slices of American cheese. I've tried to make it with sharp cheddar and I like it with the American cheese, so I'm gonna use two of those slices today. Now, first thing that we wanna do, go ahead and start heating your pan up on a medium heat, and let's go ahead and season our patties up. We're just gonna season one side, okay? Garlic powder. Get some pepper in on there, salt, just a little bit of salt. You don't need too much salt, just like so, all right? And then sazon, just enough to season it and get that taste of that sazon on there. Just like this. Okay, now what we're gonna do with the cheese, this is the two pre-packaged slices of Velveeta. We're gonna take it, we're gonna fold it just like so. Put it right across the middle, just like this, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal this. And when we seal these two together, we're gonna make sure that we really seal those, si those sides closely because we don't want any of this beautiful cheese running out, okay? Sometimes when you cook this, you're gonna have some cheese run out, but we don't want it all to run out, okay? Because when we cut down into that, we want that cheese to ooze out, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put one more little piece right here. Then we're gonna seal these bad boys up. Okay, so I think I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and use my spatula here to pick it up because it's so thin and so delicate, guys. I don't want to uh, tear it. Oh, there we go. Just be patient with it. First thing that I'm going to do, let me come over here to my pan. Well, let's see. <laughs> I'm all over the place today, guys. All right, let's pick this one up. All right, pick it up. Put this one right on top and let's smash it. All right, guys, now start sealing your edges just like this, okay? Meanwhile, make sure it's smashed in because we don't want this to puff up really you know, really big. Sometimes if you don't smash your hamburger down, you have a really thick hamburger. And that's not what I'm aiming for today. Okay, get these sides sealed in very well, just like so. My family already ate, and I'm gonna go ahead and stuff mine. They didn't have stuffed hamburgers today. <laughs> they just had regular cheeseburgers. But I wanted to do a video for you guys, and I thought, what better way than to make a cheese stuffed hamburger for you all? I hope you all enjoy this video. Okay, it's all sealed well. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, get it in the pan, and fry it on up. Okay, let's check our sides, guys. Check our sides, make sure it's perfect. All right, we don't want that cheese creeping out on us. Awesome. All right, let's get it on. All right, let's come over to, towards our pan. Meanwhile, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, make sure you have that on a medium heat. Okay, you turn it up too high, it won't get done in the middle. You turn it on medium and you've got a perfect hamburger, guys. Perfect every time. The key to good cooking is patience. Right, let me pick 
finish washing my hands, you all. Make sure when you're dealing with raw hamburger or any raw meat, you always want to wash your hands just to be safe that you don't transfer bacteria. All right. And let that hamburger go, guys. I'm going to put me a little bit of black pepper on the outside. I'm going to put me a little bit. I know I said I was just going to season the middle, but I think I'm going to season the outside also. A little bit of sazon on the outside. Anytime I get a chance to use sazon, I use it because I absolutely love it. Okay, everyone. And we just watch. Sit back and watch it. time I tried a cheese stuffed hamburger I absolutely loved it I love the cheese gooing out and the kind that I had was I had a blue cheese stuffed hamburger and it had mushrooms and sauteed onions on it and it was absolutely delicious guys you hear me so we're gonna recreate the cheese stuffed hamburger and today, I don't think I'm going to dress my hamburger with the lettuce and tomatoes and things today. I'm just going to do this so I can, and put it on my bun, and then I just want to be able to show you that beautiful cheese. I don't want my lettuce and tomato and stuff to get in the way, okay? All right, here we go, guys. It smells so good right now. Okay, looking beautiful. Make sure you use a nice a nice skillet, guys. Preferably, if you have a um, if you have what what's the word that I'm thinking of a nonstick skillet. That's what I put fur. Make sure you don't go in with your spatula, guys and push on your hamburger. That's the last thing that you ever want to do when you're making a hamburger because what will happen is you'll squeeze all the juice out and you won't have a juicy hamburger. Okay? Just shake it around. All right, we'll let this cook for a little while. When I'm ready to turn it, I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Let's go ahead and turn this over. Remember, do not go in and smash your hamburger. That's the last thing that you want to do. Look at this. Beautiful. See that nice char? That's what you're looking for, guys. Awesome. Now that other side cooks for nine minutes, okay? This is quite a bit of a big hamburger, okay? And then I'll let you know how long we decided to cook the bottom half, okay? Beautiful. All right, just let it go, leave it alone, don't touch it. We'll come back when our hamburger's done. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And now what I wanna do, I think I'm gonna take some onion. This is an afterthought. <laughs> I wanna take some onion, throw it in that oil, guys, get it sauteed up, and throw it right on top of that beautiful burger. I'm just, and when my onions are done, I'm gonna take this hamburger out, cause it's just about done. Okay, let's just let that go for just a little bit. Just for it to get nice and translucent. What a great idea. I was sitting at my kitchen table while I had the uh, video on pause and I thought, I'm gonna eat onions on there. And I said, what better way? Put the onions in there, saute them up, throw them on that bad boy. And you can see there's a little tiny bit of cheese coming out right here. But that's okay, it's just a little bit. It's nothing to worry about. Looks like we sealed it up very well. And like I said, you're always gonna have a little bit of cheese come out, that's okay. Saute these up very well, just like so. Mmm, mm mmm, mmm, Guys, the smells that's in this kitchen right now. Getting me so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited, mmm, mmm. And now, what you need to do, sometimes when you're making the cheese, well, most of the time, when you're making a cheese stuffed hamburger, your hamburger will puff up. So feel free to punch a few holes in. Just a few, okay? So you don't have a huge outburst of cheese, okay? It lets some of that air out of there. Because remember, we put two hamburgers together. 
And you'll see the steam, when I said air, I meant to say steam. You'll see the steam come out when you punch some holes in there. Okay, I think my onions are exactly where I want them. Let me, let me go ahead and take my onions out. And then we'll get this hamburger out. I want my hamburger to rest for about three minutes before I put it onto my bun, okay? Here's the beautiful onions. So I'm gonna put this hamburger directly onto my cutting board. Okay, I'm just gonna let it rest so that juice doesn't run right out when I cut it, okay? Just let it be, just like so. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Our hamburger has rested for three minutes. You know what? I've been waiting to make this recipe for you all. You are all are gonna love this. Try this recipe, make it for your family and friends. Look at this. Okay, go ahead and pick it up. Put it onto your bun. And here's what we'll do, guys. Let's go ahead, put those beautiful onions on top. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's all I need, guys. Oh, this is my dinner tonight, you hear me? This is delicious. I'm not, I don't need french fries. I don't need potato chips. I don't need anything else on the side of this beautifulness. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Mm, let me zoom in, guys. Get a good picture in there for you. Let's put our top on. Ah. I was going to put, I think I'll put a little bit of ketchup. I absolutely love ketchup, guys. Put just a tiny bit of ketchup, okay? Because like I said, I do want you all to be able to see the cheese when I cut this. Look at that, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, you know my mouth is, I know you guys' mouth is watering. Because mine's is watering so much right now. Okay. Put our top on. Look how big that burger is, guys. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna show you what a beautiful picture is. Oh, man. Okay, let's pick it up, guys. Oh, <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Look at this juiciness, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me get a saucer, guys. Look at this oil that's came off of my hands. Mm. Okay, hold on. That right there, that's what I think about. When I think about a cheese stuffed hamburger, or you could also call it the Juicy Lucy, this here, See that picture right there? That's what I dream about. Okay guys, let's go in. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Oh my goodness, look at this guys. This is it. Okay, I'm going in. Mmm, mmm, mmm-hmm, mmm-hmm, mmm, mmm-hmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, God bless this meal. It is so good, guys. Mmm. 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 Take a look, guys. Mmm. This here, this is what it's about. Mmm. 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 Let me get another bite. Mmm. 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 How delicious, guys. How delicious. Mmm. 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 And you know what? Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. Sauteing those onions at the last minute was a great choice, guys. Awesome idea. 
Mmm. You know what? You could even put barbecue sauce on this. With those sauteed onions. Mmm. Mmm. How delicious, guys. Let's pick this one up and take a peek at it. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Try these at home. Make them for your friends and family. They're so simple. And basically, the key to making the perfect cheese stuffed hamburger is make sure that you make your patties very, very, very thin. And you seal those sides very well. And always use a medium heat and you will have the perfect hamburger, guys. Mmm. All right, this side, this half is almost done. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm just gonna finish that off. Mmm, 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 mmm. You guys don't know what you're missing. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Let your friends and family know about my channel. If they love to eat, this is the channel for them, or this is the channel for you. And as always, mm, God bless, have a great night, and thank you for watching.